Hello, 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 yes, it's me, Zooey Mama, and yet again, I'm back with another mob build for you today. And as you can see by the thumbnail, we are doing the zombified piglin. So, as you're aware, we've already done the piglin on our um, builds of the net, or the, I guess they're the new another update mobs, aren't they? So, yeah, we've done the piglin, and this is the zombified piglin. And, you know, stick around, because I might be doing the hoglin next, who knows? I'll, I'm going to uh, leave that little bit of mystery shrouded for you there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyway... He, I mean, he's pretty cool, isn't he? He, he um, he's, I, I don't know, I like the way that his head turned out. <laughs> That's probably the best part of the build that I enjoy. Um, you know, it, I guess he's quite like a zombie pigman. Um, but in a sense he's just got a different head. Um, and, and that's really the, the easiest way to explain it really. But yeah, here he is. What do you think of that? Look at him. I must admit there was a lot of colours I used. So I do apologise on the colours in a second because we actually use quite a fair few of blocks um, I mean if there's some of the blocks that you think you might be able to use um, instead of um, then go for it um, because you might be able to narrow a few of the colours down but anyway I'll leave that part up to you um, but this is my interpretation of the zombie fried piglin so let's get on to the colours shall we 224 pink wool 31 purple terracotta 179 pink concrete 27 lime concrete 130 pink terracotta 33 white concrete 15 white terracotta 72 green concrete 64 lime terracotta 71 light grey concrete 2 grey concrete 52 clay 24 black terracotta 20 brown terracotta 23 brown concrete and the last one's 24 terracotta and I just want to say that some of these numbers might not be 100% correct so if they are not I apologize in advance so if you've built some of my mobs in the past you all know that they start with a row of eight blocks by four by eight again and by four and this is going to be the base of the feet I guess and then we're going to go up from this point go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we're going to start from the base up until twelve and we're going to do our first pore section so if you're new around here I just want to say that these pore sections are designed for you to now pause the video copy the pattern um, while you're on your PlayStation or Xbox wherever it may be copy the pattern, then unpause it and carry on watching the video. It's really simple. Um, and then just keep repeating that. And then here we go, we're going to swing around to the back and do the same. So you're going to hit that pause button, copy that pattern, and then move on to the next section. And I just want to say, I don't do like most tutorials where I say place block here, block there, block there. Um, that's not my style of video, okay? So if that's what you're looking for, you're at the wrong channel. <laughs> I just had to say it, okay? I get so many people criticizing that that's what I don't do, but I'm telling you now, we don't do that particularly, only on some of the bits that are a bit trickier, right? So from the base of the waist there we're going to go up by a further 12 blocks in total and once you've done that we're going to do our our other pause section I guess and we're going to go what do there we go look at that so really um so far we've done a few panels and and it's relatively straightforward by now you should be able to see um by looking at the screen the color differences and what blocks we've used there so again i don't need to tell you where the pink wool is because you can see what the pink wool looks like you can see what the green concrete looks like and the lime lime green terracotta there um lime concrete that stands out like a sore thumb um so so really you can work it out for yourself i don't want to make these videos too easy for you because that would just be yeah it'd be too easy wouldn't it so i've got to make it a little bit challenging at least 
and here we go round to the back and you might notice some of these little big these big blue sections on on the mob here these sections you can put whatever block you want or you can leave them blank I just like to put a color there just a point as reference because we will be building over them shortly okay so um, yeah so ignore those big blue sections we're gonna now start building the arm section so what you want to do is go from the top of the build here come down by four blocks then you want to come out by four blocks and then bring that all the way by 12 blocks out so this is going to be the arm so you want to come come down again from the top of the build by four come out by four and then bring that all the way out by 12 and you should have a big section looking like that so that's the base of the arm okay so it's underneath part of his arm and we're going to do this by um, sections so once you've done that section we're going to then come up by a further three blocks and then that's going to wrap all the way back towards the body like there okay so that's going to be the inside of his arm so if you can imagine um how he's holding his arms out that's what we're doing and then yeah yeah blah, 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 blah. i couldn't spit words out then and yet again a pause the screen there we go so once you've done that we're now going to do the outside of the arm so again you want to come up by a total of four blocks um and you're going to come all the way to the back of this one as well so it's quite a big section to do and I'll there we go again you can clearly see what blocks you need to need there a lot of pink wool um, some pink concrete and so on and so forth right and then finishing it off we're going to place these this section on the top there we go look at that so once you've done one arm the second arm's relatively easy because we just do the same arm but we flip it so reverse it in a sense so we're going to tidy things up a little bit here so from the front of the build you want to have your purple terracotta and place two like so then you get pink concrete, place one, and then green concrete, place one. So you should have a little pattern like that. We're not going to pause it here because you're only placing four blocks down. And then from the back, you're going to swing on round, and we're going to use a lot of pink wool here. So you're going to place pink wool like this, 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 there. So a nice little section three by three, and then finish it off by one concrete in the corner there. Okay, and these these three blocks there you don't need to worry about, so you can just put any old block there for now. Or you can just leave it blank. It's entirely up to you because the head's going to be plonking on there shortly. So so it's going to be irrelevant so again we're going to do the other arm so you're going to come down by four blocks come out by four blocks and then bring this all the way down by 12 blocks in total so if you've done it right you should have two arms that are um, the same length you don't want a wonky wonky arm on your zombified piglin so again we got a nice little pause section and this is the underside of the second arm okay so once you've done the first arm this one's all downhill because you know what to expect and this one should be a breeze here so again we're going to come from the corner and we're going to get up by further three blocks so it's four blocks in total high and it should be the same height as the other arm if not you've got a serious problem <laughs> and rethink what you're doing right and then the pause section here there we go look at that and again, like I said, you can see all the blocks. I don't need to tell you where to place them. You're, you're better than that. I know you are. Right, there we go. So then they, they all look good. And then go around from the other side or the outside of the arm. Again, we're going to come up by four. Again, so exactly what we've done. It's, it's literally repeating what we've done, but on the opposite side. And again, pause section. People, 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 people. I, I, I just had to throw that in there just to kill a bit of time. And from the top, looking down. Here we go. Boo. There we go. Look at that. And d d d yeah, here we go. Right. So again, this section here, you don't need to worry about. So you can fill them, them three blocks in. And then from the back, if you remember what we did on the other arm, we did one pink concrete there and then fill up the rest with pink wool. There we go. Look at that. Easy, isn't it? And then spinning on round to the front. Remember, we're going to use our purple terracotta and fill it in like there. And then we're going to use our pink concrete again there and then one green concrete like so and that's it boom done so all we need to do is whack this guy's head on and we're all there so moving on to the head what you want to do is we're going to start from here and essentially what you need to do is overhang the head onto the arms by one block so it should be a total of 10 across there and then eight um, so it should be overhanging the front and the back by two blocks so it's 10 by 8 so far we've done and then you want to go from any corner you want and go up by 8 so it's 8 by 8 by 10 um, head <laughs> does that make sense so 10 across by 8 high by 8 back okay so it should be overhanging the front and the back by two blocks and it should be 10 from arm to arm 
okay and what we do in there little pause section and I'm just briefly showing you underneath because we're not going to actually pause it here I'm just showing you quickly and you can you can see what's going on there spinning on round to the side of the head and again remember don't worry about that blue section because we're going to be whacking on this zombified pickling ear in a minute so that's that one and then spinning on round to the back you've nearly done it guys congratulations if you got this far because it, it is a very big build only in terms of the amount of different colors i've used and like i said if you think you can get away with um sort of um, using less colors then you probably can I mean you could probably get away with taking away the pink concrete and just using pink wool or get rid of the pink wool and just use pink concrete um, and with, with some of the greens as well you can see I've got lime green terracotta there and green concrete you might be able to get away with just using um, lime concrete or, or just the green concrete it's, it's entirely up to you really um, but like I said this is my interpretation of it um, and I think it looks cool, but I'll leave that up to you anyway. It's, it's your build and I'll it's your choice at the end of the day, isn't it? And that's it. That is the head. So the last little piece of this puzzle we're going to do right now. So again, we're going to start off with the tusks from this blue section here. And then it all goes downhill from this point onwards. And again, I just want to apologize because I do realize that literally every block for this build is pretty much just in one section. So this these tusks here, we've practically used every single block um, that we went through at the very start. Um, I know it's quite ridiculous because it's um, a small section of the build, but yet it has got so many blocks. Um, so yeah, I can only apologize for that. And like I said, you might be able to come up with a solution to have less blocks, but you know me, I like to go over overboard, um, especially in the color department um, to get these looking right for you. But I think it turned out right in the end. What do you think? So for the final bit now is just the ear. So I didn't want to do a complete diagonal of an ear, like completely slanted. I think I think he looks pretty cool just doing the little one block there and then bring it out by one block or, or yeah, from the actual head. And then we're going to just come down by four. So the first little row is a one block attached to the head and then this section comes down by a total of four and it has a nice little effect but I'll leave that up to you if you want to do your ears slightly different then go for it but hey that's just me I've been Zooey Mama and I hope you enjoyed the build today because it took me a fair while so I hope you appreciate that one I'll see you on the next one bye